now today's video holy shit i'm about to lose the battery so we're gonna have to come back all right <laughs> What's up? It's me, Audra. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I'm not sure how you got here, but certainly I'm glad you came. And if you are new here, well, you're in for a treat. All right. If you are into horror, beauty, and a little bit of commentary thrown in between, I suggest you go ahead and subscribe. For the low, low price of zero, zero dollars, you get to wonder, is she sweating or is she dewy? <laughs> Also here on my socials. I love hanging out with you guys. I have been a little slow in the uptake. I'll be honest, I'm turtling a bit. I'm not used to it, but I'm getting there. I'm trying to say hello. Also, I have been limiting my social activity because ugh. All right, so the battery died. I'm back. <laughs> you didn't know that. Anyway, we're here today with the declutter, a disorganized declutter. I don't necessarily always declutter in an organized manner. So sorry for that. Uh, but I do want, if you guys want to see how I got this look, let me know because it's just a weird video of me rambling on and on about myself. Uh, so you can get to know me better. I don't know. You guys let me know. Comments. Drop like a blue heart. <laughs> All right. So um, we're going to go ahead and get started because there's a bunch in here and I've got a lot to go through. So first and foremost, we're going to talk about this Yes Please palette by ColourPop. Um, I've used it lovingly for a very long time. I don't uh, stunt for ColourPop anymore though. However, uh, this was a fun palette, but it's super old. Like I've had this for so long and I just feel like a lot of the colors, like the mischief, like that's really still kind of, it's very pretty, but once I have it on for a little while, it dies out. Uh, and to add that, I have a few different palettes from Colored Rain and uh, Kaleidos that have, you know, enough colors to make up for it. Uh, I liked this color a lot. I used it. But otherwise, I don't really use this palette, so I just need to go ahead and let this go on about its life without me. You know what I mean? Like, without me. It can... How do I live? Okay, moving on. Uh, there's another palette in here. These are separate from my palette decolor, declutter. These are just ones where I'm like, no. Uh, this is one I got. I think I got it in like a, a like a wino. A vino. <laughs> I got this in a vino box. It's a Laura Geller New York. Um, here we go. And I, first of all, I've dropped it like three times. I, it's something about these plasticky ones. I just, I just drop them on the ground. Like, I don't know. I don't know why I like this. But the thing is, the color scheme really isn't my, my bag. I don't like it. Like, it's just boring to me. It's a very boring, like, basic bitch palette. And I thought I liked being a basic bitch, but it turns out. I don't. I like a lot of bright ass colors. <laughs> And I'm only just now finding this out. I like bright colors, I like purples, I like pinks. I like to look like a brand new, like fancy kind of peacock. The bird of paradise is is really what I'm trying to look like every day. Like variations of the bird of paradise. So this is not for me. I'm gonna go ahead and let this go. Another palette. We we should have just done a palette declutter, okay? Because the Urban Decay Naked Heat. Now I thought, you know. I thought I was the shit when I got this palette. I was like, now I'm a real makeup girl. But this palette is boring, and the thing of it is, you literally end up with the same look, no matter what you do. No matter what you do, you have the same look. All of these colors to make the same look. It's just, there's, and I've played with it several times. Same look. S same, it's always the same look. It's good, one thing it is good for though, is like if you just wanna do that one finger swipe eyeshadow, this is your 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 baby but i don't need it in my collection anymore and i don't use it so i'm just going to go ahead and let that slide to the left i mean currently it's my right your left but who cares this is a, like an old as fuck mask that i found because i'm still unpacking even though i moved here in december of 2019 let's not talk about it i have a thing about like 
not letting things die just leave me alone anyways this is a gold gel face mask by like allure allure i don't know where i got this from to be honest like i have no idea but i loved it when i was using it it's just like it's old and it's obviously dry so that'll count mostly as an empty we're gonna let that go i liked it though it was a nice mask uh we're also gonna let go of this abh dark brown powder duo brow power listen i don't i don't look at my eyebrows i literally have 17 hairs maybe it's not literally but it's like i have 17 hairs there's nothing there's no hair on this side i have to make hair happen there don't look too closely at my eyebrows they're doing weird things this one's you know on its own anyway <laughs> I don't use this, I'm never going to use this. I have some friends that I might be able to declutter it to. Friends, you know who you are. If this color scheme is for you, hit me up, hit, hit a girl up, because I don't need it. Uh, I've never even opened it, I've never used it. I opened it, I never used it. Uh, <laughs> I got it from an influencer. I just couldn't use it because like I don't use brow powder. Next we have the What's the Tea from The Balm. I really don't know what happened with this brand. This is one of those brands that's so weird. I think me and Kara were talking about it one time. This brand is so weird. Neither one of us know what happened to it. And I think the thing about it was that they had really cute packaging. Do you know what I mean? Like this packaging is fucking adorable. But it is very... not brown representative uh but the actual thing is i didn't okay i've also busted this several times i don't like the, listen it turns out my subconscious subconscious sorry takes care of this stuff for me and i didn't like it and i really only kept it because it had little primers in there and i would use them but the final nail in the coffin hit it so this is definitely going to hit the trash because i'm not going to try to like do all the things, and I've actually had it for a long time, so we can just let that go on about its merry way. Um, I feel like I'm still doing eyeshadow palettes, and we are. I'm gonna have to do a whole separate, there's still other palettes I need to get rid of, so like, ugh, okay. But anyways, let me know if you wanna see me declutter some eyeshadow, <laughs> and declutter all this shit. This one's from Makeup Geek. I really tried, you guys, I did. I know a lot of people like Makeup Geek, this is the Peach Bellini eyeshadow palette. Not a fan. Uh, I just kind of felt like it was flat and it was boring. The Prosecco, though, is a very pretty color. Prosecco is actually quite lovely on, like, but I just felt like, all in all, I just felt like I was kind of making the same look. This is another one of those palettes that kind of suffers from not really being able to give you the depth and dimension that you actually want. And I just felt like it was just, it was okay. I just, I don't need this. Um, I'm seeing if you can see it better with the plastic on. I don't really need this in my collection. Again, friends, you know who you are. You know who you are. Let me know if you want this because it's not going to stay in my life. It's, it's just not. Uh, I, I can't. <laughs> Then we have this Tetrez palette. I got this in an Ipsy. This is one of those ones that I'm decluttering because A, I don't use it. Um, B, two of these colors are the same, line clear and high score. Top out is kind of cute, but I have it better from um, JD Glow. And really like these, I don't know why you would put these two hideous ass brown shades in here. Let me see if I can get the plastic out for you to see it. But like, I just don't know why you would be like, oh, we're gonna have all these bright, beautiful colors. And then we're gonna just like fill it in with these two ugly ass shades that don't really go well with any of it, to be honest, because I've tried. It just doesn't, it doesn't go well. They're, it just, it doesn't look cute. And I don't use this palette. Again, friends, you know. I, my friends know who they are. Don't any of you ask, but my friends know who they are and they know they can. Okay, moving on. Finally, in the realm of palettes, this is a deck of Scarlet. Listen, I don't know how deck of Scarlet got to be what it is. It's trash. Uh, <laughs> oops. The reason I don't like them, and, and I guess you can agree, we can agree to disagree, but here's the thing. Like, first of all, like this is sort of a cool idea like you can open one side and not open this side and as you can see the reason you don't want to accidentally open this side is because you can gouge the lip colors these are supposed to be lip colors but apparently you can also use them as eyeshadow and oh my goodness i forgot one thing i'll be back but you can use them as eyeshadow or cheek pigment or whatever these highlighters were like the, the blush and highlighter were not good i just i the whole thing it just didn't create anything like it was just like a uh, one boring ass look uh i know that they really try to make it look like it's super dimensional but this was the one like this is all i needed and i got this i think when i had my scent bird subscription i you could get deck of scarlet through them and i don't like it i just i don't i don't like the whole thing and what does that look like to you 
just just tell me okay uh, so that's gonna go uh, so we have a few like I have this hair product this is uh, dry shampoo listen dry shampoo isn't my bag okay first of all uh, it's not my bag I don't I don't dry shampoo so I'm just gonna go ahead and let that go that's really all I need to say about it I don't use dry shampoo I get my hair done and if I'm not getting it done I just wash it myself dry shampoo doesn't do a lot for me um, or my hair so it's fine it's it's fine it's fine. Next up, we're gonna hit that body, body life. Uh, everybody who knows me and knows my channel knows I do not like the Brazilian bum bum, boom boom, whatever you're supposed to call it, cream. Uh, I got these in one of my beauty boxes. I think it was BoxyCharm. I hate them both. The Coco Cabana cream, uh, I, I even tried to use it because I was like, maybe, but this is just dry and I don't like the way it smells. It smells like sunscreen and I guess some people like that smell it's just not for me the Brazilian bum bum cream it, it doesn't do anything for me it doesn't it doesn't my hands are still dry Ashy. so that's a thing I'm not I'm not into them I, they still have some stuff in them I'm probably gonna send them to Britt Clark because she's literally the only one that I know that likes this so I will send those to her Britt if you're watching I got some shit for you. Uh, next up I have, okay, this I don't think I should open. This is the, this is the confetti highlighter from, <laughs> I'm dying of laughter, I'm sorry, from Ciate London. I can't even open it because, listen. I dropped it and it exploded like confetti, which is real nice. Um, it was okay anyway, it was like all right, but like, <laughs> You can't, like, I'd have to go through and crush it and then, like, use it as a loose highlighter and then I don't even like loose highlighters, so this is, this is on its way out. Uh, then next up we have the, this is a collaboration, it was with Gigi Gorgeous, it's a blush duo. Not my cup of tea, not my color. Here's the thing, I do like a lighter color sometimes to make me just look slightly rosy, like I just finished getting horizontal with my mans, but like at the same time, not always horizontal. <laughs> but at the same time, this was too light, so uh, I think Emily might like this, to be honest. I think she might, Emily or Kara, so. I got, I got peoples. So yeah, this just wasn't my color, so I finally like had to pull it out of all of this stuff and be like, bye so that happened um then there's this this i'm just gonna throw away this is the galaxy oh geez okay this is the galaxy body oil is it getting in focus for you yay or nay there we go uh so this is um a lot the thing is, I like that it's from an independent brand, but I've, I've, as you can see, I've spilled it a few times and then like it got left open. So it's like, it's not an oil anymore. It's just like hard. Um, <laughs> I'm like, it's just hard. And this is the thing you don't want to be hard. So the <laughs> reality here is I kind of liked it, but I honestly didn't like all the, the sparkles. I, I feel like if I want to glow, like I, I'll put on my glow, but like, wasn't here for it um so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and throw this away because it's not even it's not even a, an oil i'm gonna put that in the trash pile i have different piles that i'm setting up over here like piles of stuff that my friends might want and then the trash so that that's a whole other thing also i know you didn't think i was gonna make it through the whole video without doing this to you did you Okay, now that I've been ridiculous, so you never know when those are gonna pop up. <laughs> now that I'm being ridiculous, speaking of lip things, uh, this is the Skin Chemist Rose Quartz Youth Defense Lip, lip Plump. Really, can we just stop with these long ass names? Okay, so the thing is, I don't know if you noticed, but like, I don't need a lip plumper. I'm good. I never even opened this. Uh, the only reason it kind of looks slightly beat up is because Bo got a hold of the packaging and he did have like the, the packaging and he was kind of like rolling this around. I, he, I managed to make it so that he didn't bite it. You know what I mean? So this isn't broken or anything. It's just like, I can't, I, I don't need a lip plumper and my lips are fine. So there's that. Then uh, 
Also in lips, there is the Fenty Gloss Balm and Diamond Milk. This is just not my cup of tea. I do not like uh, glittery lip gloss. Like, that's not my thing. Although I really like the packaging. Super cute. But I just really, really despise glittery, glittery lip balm, lip gloss. I don't like it to be glittery. Like, I always feel the glitter. And I just feel like the problem with the glitter gloss is that when it wears off and your lipstick wears off, you're left with glitter lips. It's not flattering on a 40 year old woman. That's all. <laughs> uh, next up, I'm going to finally let go of this Juice Beauty uh, stem cell long ass fucking name. It's the Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Booster Serum. Didn't boost shit. Not a damn thing. I, it didn't do anything. Juice Beauty is one of those brands where I feel like they make a lot of claims and like nothing happens. It, like I've, I've tried to use their face wash before, their cleanser, boo. It was just, it was boo, didn't take off anything. And they're like, it'll take off the toughest of makeup. I'm like, bitch, <laughs> no it won't. Um, <laughs> I've used so many different products of theirs because I, I used to subscribe to beauty boxes for a long time. I've used so many different products. All of them that I have used are just bunk to me, to me. If you like it, you like it. Please don't, you know, please don't come in my space being all like, I love it. And I'll be like, okay, well, congratulations. We don't have to love the same things. It's nice if we do, but like, you're not marrying me. Remember? I don't want to get married. So yeah, this is just a one that I finally had to give up on and be like, this sucks. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wouldn't say I'd rather eat shit than use that. There, but like, it's not that bad. Like I'd still use it if I had the choice between the two things. But there are products where it's like, eh. <laughs> Next, okay, if, if you're new to my channel, you don't know this yet, but I am a mascara fiend. Oh, oh, I love mascara, okay? I love it because I don't wear false lashes. It is not my bag, it's not my thing. I don't feel like I look good with false lashes. Well, actually I do look cute with them on. It's just like the work to put them on is intense for me, uh, and then I can't keep them on. The blinking, I, I, end up like that because I just can't, I can't get used to it. And then they feel really heavy on my eyes and I just feel like I'm either squinting at everyone or blinking like an insane person. So I did went, go and try the physician's formula bullshit long ass mascara thing. Uh, and that's what I'm starting to do with these product names because they're so long. And I feel like if you're gonna make your product name ridiculously long, then I'm just not gonna have to keep saying it. And especially if you're not sending it to me and I don't get it for free, then I can do what I want, right? Right, right. So the thing is, um, <laughs> This is the Physician's Formula Lash Mixologist. And one side is for length and one side is for volume. Huda Beauty has one, she did this as well. I hate these. The reason why I hate them is because one side is always stubby, like you, cause like trying to use one side. And then you have to like go and in the morning, this is not a good time. And then you have to come over here and get this other side. It just seems like weird and holding it was awkward because it would kind of change how you held it when you were doing your mascara. So when I had this side, I was like, oh, this part isn't so bad, you know, because this is like the kind of pointy, like nice side, so I would use that side. And then, then I get to this side and have to hold this one and then it was thicker. So it just, it, it, trying to adjust, I was always messing up my mascara. And also, if I'm honest, it really wasn't that great. I could layer it a few times and then it would be okay, but otherwise, mm, no thank you I don't need that in my life next mascara this I actually loved I loved it however this is the Tarte gifted mascara okay I love this so much it's an Amazonian clay smart mascara I don't know what why it's smart I really don't maybe it whispers to my lashes anyways uh, <laughs> I loved this so much. I wanted to repurchase it, uh, but currently I'm not doing that. So, <laughs> sad face. But I loved this mascara. I really liked the wand on this. It was very nice, very easy to use. It builded up, like it built up very, very well. I could use one, if I just was trying to be like a little saucy minx, just like one coat. If I was trying to be like extra sassy two coats. And if I was trying to blow your whole mind, three or more and it didn't get sticky or weird however I did 
get a sty. So when I'm stressed out, I suffer from like stress styes and I kept getting them over and over again and this is one of the casualties of that. So I cannot use this anymore. Also, it's almost dead. So like, that's fine. It's fine. But it like still hurts my feelings because it was, that was my bitch for a little while. I was like, girl, give me the lashes. All right, are you looking at them now? Are you like, girl, how'd you get those lashes? I'll never tell. Actually, I'm gonna tell. That was a stupid thing. I'm gonna tell you because like, why have a beauty channel if I'm not gonna tell you what I'm doing? All right, so then next up, I have the <laughs> oft made fun of flesh. Okay, so this is a flesh uh, twitch flesh stick. A fle they have a lot of sticks. This is a highlighter. It's in twitch. Uh, I don't, it's not really my color and i could i just never reached for it that's the thing i never reached for it i hardly ever reach for highlighters like this especially if it's not in the right tone and if i'm honest i really like to kind of have these st strange kind of colored ones like i like pink ones and purple ones like i'm kind of wearing a bit of a pink one right now and i just like them because they give me a better glow than some of the goldy ones so and the gold like i like the goldy ones but this just i never reached for it i got it in a beauty box i'm over it Moving on, another one of those like tubey things and we're gonna know definitely why. I don't support milk makeup anyway. I got this in a beauty box and even though I don't support them, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it anyway. I hate it. Uh, <laughs> there's a few reasons I don't like it. It's just, I don't, I don't like these. They're like, it's multi-purpose. It just never is. The lip color, like as a lip color, it's not good. As a cheek color, it's not good. It just isn't for my skin tone, which is yet another reason why I got off subscription boxes for beauty. Because nine times out of 10, for me, being a dark-skinned woman, I often ended up with shit where I was like, I told y'all I was dark, right? Like you asked me and I told you, and then you still sent me dusty shit. So that's how I feel about this is dusty for me and I don't like it. And on top of that, I don't support the brand. So I may as well not keep that in my collection. We have a few, like there's three more things. There's three more things. Hold on to your boots. It's not even that special. Uh, this is the Perlice BB Perfect Glow. Uh, this they have, They're like little thing. Their slogan is beauty through Asian wisdom. So I like, Perlis a lot actually. They were one of my go-to cleansers for a very long time. However, this Perfect Glow BB Cream, let me just show you why I don't like it. Let's just let's just play. Let's just let's just play for a second. Okay? Okay? I'm going to show you. Here we go. You see that? Imagine that on my whole face. Imagine my whole face just being an ashy mess. Like guys, if I left my house, look at this, look. Imagine my whole face. Just, just me being a dusty bitch all day. <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> I cannot. Imagine me walking around dusty ass face, just like, no, I'm not, I wasn't gonna do it. So I'm gonna have to let that go because like that is not even cute. Like it's not even cute. Cause the thing is it would dry down and be sort of okay. But the problem is the cast, you see what I'm saying? Now you see what I'm saying? Cause like from here, it's like it's dried down. It's all right. But the cast, the cast, if you look straight at it, you're like, oh, it's fine. But then when I had to like get it, I had to find out the hard way, by the way, when I went out into the outdoors with it, it was rough. It was a rough day for me. Everybody was looking at me weird. I was like, I'm not a zombie. Anyway, it just on. Uh, I'm gonna spend the rest of this video with lipstick on my teeth. I, I there's no excuses for it. Also, uh, I feel like my hands looked so dry. They, they just look so dry. Uh, it's because I used the bum bum cream. <laughs> Told you ashy on my skin looking at it right here it looks beautiful but as soon as light hits it it starts to get this weird little cast and it's not even like a beautiful glow it's a cast to where i look well we've already talked about it like a zombie so i'm gonna go ahead and let that go zombie all right finally we have the must oh wait not finally next to last we have the micellar it's Marcel 3-in-1 Micellar Gel Eye Makeup Remover. First of all, I have a very reliable, fantastic uh, cleansing balm. I have that from Clean It Zero. It's Vanilla Vanillaco. That's my favorite one. Second, this works like shit, okay? Um, especially for your eyes. Like, 
I don't know why these companies will claim that they're like eye makeup remover because even though like you'll see it here kind of like it, it's able to do that like right there that's nice right that's nice but on your eyes if you're wearing any kind of makeup it, it dragged and it just didn't do well and you have to use the cotton pad and I really try not to use cotton pads around my eyes because I have enough lines and wrinkles as it is I didn't need to add to it by like using this cotton pad and just like trying to scrub my eyes honestly I don't I'm not a believer in eye makeup remover specifically I prefer every time to use a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil Oil because they're very nice soft even and you can feel the pressure from your fingers and be able to know like how to adjust the pressure from your fingers onto your eyes so that you're not just like pressing in and I feel like this is just one of those products where you're just like pressing in you're using it on this cotton pad the cotton pad absorbs most of it anyway when you're using an eye makeup remover so then you're just scrubbing even more hard so it's like ugh. so that's out of my collection that's going in the trash or yeah it's going in the trash I'm not gonna wish that on anybody uh, another Laura Geller product this is the baked balance and brighton brighton foundation i wish i could use words so i don't know whose bright idea this was but they decided that somehow this was a foundation <laughs> do y'all see that like this is a foundation okay let me just like show you what they were trying to get me to put on my face as a foundation what <laughs> This is why I don't like again why I don't fuck with beauty boxes because like if I do this It's like it's all right kind of but first of all I don't wear powder foundation anyway But this is like so dusty and they're like it's deep. I'm like by whose standards of deep? So over here I can look at it uh, the lights won't show it as well, but it's just like this kind of dusty color here it's kind of making me look like i need lotion which is you know i guess i could get some bum bum cream just kidding i'll be dry anyway anyhow i'm not a fan i just don't like it i've never like i every time i went to go grab it i was like but like who is this for who and they're like it's for you you're deep i'm like So let me just throw all this into the box. I usually keep like to declutter these like random declutters that I do guys. I typically keep these boxes so that I can use them to regularly declutter. If you're new to my channel, I declutter regularly because it doesn't make sense for me to have all of this makeup uh, and not go through it. And I try to make it a habit to use everything I've got. And if I don't like it, then I need to get rid of it. So what I tend to do is go around my makeup collection on a very regular basis and start looking at stuff and pulling it out and I drop it into my box. I drop it into the box and then if I never pull it out again throughout the entire month, then I obviously don't use it. I don't need it. And there's no reason for me to keep it in my collection. I have very little makeup that's sentimental to me. Like I think there are people who have sentimental. I don't really have a lot of sentimental makeup although i will say you know what i do i do i have the jackie aina palette um that's what we're calling it now we're just going to do this and like now this is the jackie aina palette that's what it's called so the jackie aina palette i have this one is sentimental and that this is like the first real eyeshadow palette i purchased for myself so yeah so i think if you guys are interested i can go through my palettes and we'll just kind of play with them and determine if i'm going to keep it or chuck it at the same time um on that'll be another video obviously we've gone too long today and that's it that's the video that's my declutter that is the explanation of how i declutter for those of you who are new here there's so many of you welcome welcome happy to have you here uh it's a it's an odd little dark world uh filled with bright colors but dark humor. All right. And that's where mostly also, also we're on the gutta. If you are new here, if you hear me say LGG, uh, LGG for live, la gutta, that is what we call ourselves. We're like la gutta gang. Um, we're just, cause we're always in the gutta <laughs> and, uh, our minds are always in the gutta and <laughs> it's, it's just fun, fun stuff. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Special shout out to my patrons, Legata Gang, the carrots and the tacos. I love you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Without you, I wouldn't be, I have a lot of the stuff that I have right now. Like you guys have really helped me to elevate my game. I appreciate it. And everybody, please have a wonderful, wonderful, safe day. Wear your mask outside. The shit is on the rise. It's like, it's getting, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> so sorry. Um, <laughs> it's getting a little rowdy. Please wear your mask. Protect yourselves in any way possible, always possible. Black Lives Matter, much love. And until next time, 
Deuces! <laughs> I'm going to hell. <laughs>